Hey, hey, Tay Bays, it's Taya. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, it is 2020. Happy New Year to everyone. This is my first video of the new year, so I definitely wanted to take this opportunity to say Happy New Year to you all. I hope you are all well on your way to realizing your goals for the new year. And speaking of realizing our goals for the new year, this video is actually a part of that for me getting started on my goals for myself and for for this channel in general for 2020 as well. Okay, so as we start off this new year, this new decade, you know, I really wanted to make it a point to share a little bit with you about my life. You know, like my experiences, my goals for myself and also for this channel, just some of the things that I've done, some of the things that I've accomplished and some of the things that I hope to accomplish as we embark on this new decade. So I've been doing YouTube for a while now, so I feel like you've kind of captured bits and pieces here and there from different videos that may have been filmed during certain times in my life but I don't feel like I've ever had a video like this where I've just sat down and just talked to you about me. And I feel like it could be really hard for an audience to connect if you don't have all of the context or the background when you catch those glimpses here and there. So I just really felt like this video was overdue and I thought there was no better time then now at the start of the new year to go ahead and film this and let you guys know a little bit about myself, especially as I have decided this year in 2020 to be very, very intentional about focusing my energy on this channel and doing everything that I can to put more into it and make sure that I am carrying out the vision that I originally had for this channel. I think over the years, I've been so busy Busy with other things and focusing my energy on school, career, the kids, my life in general, just all of these other things. And the channel has been kind of lost in that over the years. So I wanted to take this time to just kind of refresh this channel, refresh my brand, kick off a new decade, start off new. And I really wanted to welcome you guys to come along with me on that journey. If you have already been a subscriber on this channel, then you know, welcome back. <laughs> I'm glad to finally be able to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse into my life. And if you're new to this channel, then please keep on watching. And I hope that you guys will be able to find some common ground as well. And if you do, please do let me know down in the comments you know what speaks to you what resonates with you and what similarities we have okay so I feel like there is a lot that I want to share with you guys I'm gonna try my best to be pretty uh, straight to the point and concise in this video and just feel free if you want to know more information about something to just ask the question and I'm, I'm happy to answer those for you guys so let's just go ahead and get started and we're gonna start from the top Hi, my name is Taya. <laughs> okay, so my name is Taya. My full first name is San Taya, but I go by Taya here on YouTube and with my friends and family who are closer to me, they call me Taya as well. I am 31 years old and I am from... So whenever people ask me where I'm from, I sometimes pause because I uh, was a military brat, so I did move around a bit when I was younger, but I currently live in St. Louis, and uh, as a child, after my mom got out of the military, I stayed kind of in the St. Louis metro area, so in general, now I say that I'm from St. Louis. I have two children, two beautiful, amazing, wonderful children, one boy and one girl. Um, my son, Jace, was born first. My really sweet, gentle, uh, quiet baby boy. He's not a baby anymore, actually. He's nine years old now, and I just, like, literally can't take it. Like, he's halfway grown. Like, he'll be 18 and nine more years. Like, I don't know where the time has gone. My baby is just growing up so 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 quick he has been on my channel a couple of times one video was with him in a mommy and son tag i also have a daughter who is five years old and her name is isabella she goes by bella and they're just 
pretty much my world. Everything that I, I do in life is just with them in mind, you know, and always just kind of trying to figure out how I can um, improve myself to be able to improve them or improve life for them. So everything is always centered around my babies. They're absolutely my world. So I am divorced from my children's biological father who I met when I was very, very young and silly. <laughs> I met him when I was 18 years old as a freshman in undergrad. Um, so we are no longer together and I did spend some time as a single mother um, raising my two babies, but I am now engaged, happily engaged with the love of my life and just getting set to get married this May. Um, I couldn't be happier. I, I honestly just couldn't be more excited <laughs> about what's to come um, with our relationship, with my family, you know, with our marriage and just Super duper excited about everything that this year holds, honestly. You guys will have an opportunity to meet him um, soon as well. He will be making some appearances on this channel as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I do have two college degrees. Um, first, I attended Spelman College. Ooh, ooh. If, I, if any of you are from Selma, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and put a blue heart down below. Hey, Spelman sisters, how you doing, girl? How you doing? I love you, hey, sis. <laughs> um, so I did attend Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you're not familiar with Spelman, it's a private liberal arts college for black women. Um, so it is an HBCU. And um, I attended Spelman a long time ago. <laughs> While I was there, I studied English and I graduated from Spelman with my bachelor's degree in 2010. I love my alma mater. Spelman just leaves such a mark on you. You know, I really, really know undoubtedly that the woman that I am today was greatly shaped by my experiences at Spelman College. I met some of the most amazing, incredible, and brilliant women while I was there. And I just feel really, really blessed to have had that experience. And I feel like that's really where I kind of came into myself and just kind of blossomed into the woman that I am today. So. I love Spelman. If you're wondering, Isabella will absolutely be going to Spelman College. As a matter of fact, I believe I did a vlog, a pregnancy vlog, when I was pregnant with Bella on this channel. And I said that I was excited that I was having a girl because she's going to be my legacy and she's going to go to Spelman. And I still stand by that. So she got to be ready for it. <laughs> So yeah, I really, really enjoyed those four years that I spent in Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Uh, I plan to go back this year for my, holy cow. I plan to go back this year for homecoming because it will be my 10 year reunion. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. I'm getting old, bruh. <laughs> If everything works out how I want it to go, then my fiance and the babies will come along with me. Um, I haven't yet been back to a homecoming with the kids, so I'm really excited to expose them to, to Spelman and to Morehouse and to um, just kind of HBCU culture and just kind of go ahead and start indoctrinating them now because you're going to be a Spelman, sis. Yes, you are. <laughs> Okay, so my second degree is my master's. I do have an MBA, a master's in business administration, which I got from uh, Washington University in St. Louis, which is so very different from Spelman College. Um, it's not an HBCU at all. It's probably like the polar opposite of that. Um, but I, I had a really, really great experience experience while I was there um, as well, even though it's a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> but um, I feel like it really set me up for success as well um, for my later civilian career, which we'll get into a little bit later down the line. I had a concentration in operations and supply chain. And I made a video on here actually, uh, get ready with me on that graduation day and <laughs> if you've seen that video you know that i was like pretty emotional because i gotta tell you guys as someone who has always been very very strong in um 
English and the less quantitative <laughs> or business oriented uh, subjects, for me, that MBA program was extremely, extremely challenging. And then I had a lot of life things um, going on during that time as well and kind of trying to navigate getting through school uh, and as a single mother as well with the babies and making sure that they were good. And it was it was a lot going on at that time. So that's kind of why I was so emotional in that in that video, because I was just really, really proud of myself um, for for achieving that, to be honest with you. So yeah, I graduated with my MBA in 2018. And um, after that, I said, we're not going back to school at all because we're done. Like, <laughs> it was hard. So those are the degrees that I have right now. I am very much the type of person who always wants to continuously learn and grow and develop myself. And I'm just a huge advocate for education. And I just, I love learning, <laughs> I actually love school. I think at that time I was really burnt out, but as time has passed since then, I've actually started thinking like, I wanna go back to school. I'm gonna study something else. So who knows, who knows what's to come later down the line. Okay, so another big piece of the picture of me, of what makes me me, <laughs> is that I am in the military as well. I mentioned earlier that that I'm a military brat and that my mother was in the military. So yes, my mommy was in the army. Ultimately, I ended up joining the army as well. I spent four years active duty on the enlisted side as a 68 papa or a radiology specialist. So I actually went on to, um, while I was still active duty, get my civilian certification for radiology as well. So I am a certified nationally registered radiology tech as well. Fun fact, I don't do that on the civilian side, but I do maintain that certification. Um, so yeah, I was an x-ray tech uh, in the army active duty initially. And then I put in a packet to do the Green to Gold program, which is a program where um, enlisted soldiers who want to be officers can apply for that transition. There's a number of different ways that you can go from enlisted to officer, but with that particular program, you go to school and while you're completing that degree, you also participate in the ROTC program to get the necessary military training to make that transition. I wanted to be an officer. I put in that packet and it was approved. I transitioned out and moved back to St. Louis to start at WashU. And while I was at WashU pursuing my MBA, I was also simultaneously doing ROTC as well. So as you can see, I had a lot going on, <laughs> okay? Um, so when I finished up, at WashU, I also completed that ROTC program and I transitioned to an officer. Now I am an officer in the US Army Reserves. I do have a different job than I had on the enlisted side, but I am still in on the medical side. Later on, I'll specialize, but at this time, I'm a 70 Bravo, which is Health Services Administration. Okay, so not all of those who go through ROTC and commission as an officer uh, end up being in the reserves. I knew that I wanted to go reserves because I wanted to make sure that I used my MBA in a civilian career while also continuing to serve in the military. So that's the route that I went. So now we'll kind of go into what I do on the civilian side. Okay, so I secured my full-time job offer while I was still in my MBA program and I started at my um, current job right after graduation. So I was very, very blessed <laughs> and that I already had a civilian job lined up as well. So on the civilian side, I work in analytics and the analytics that I deal with are in the healthcare space. So it just kind of all worked out. Um, I was in the medical field when I was in the military and then studying supply chain and then ending up, you know, this organization where I'm able to kind of merge those things has been 
really, really great. I feel super, super blessed to have ended up in the position that I am right now with the career that I have. And I absolutely love what I do. So, you know, besides being a, a mother, a soon to be wife again, and, you know, being a soldier, I'm also a, a career woman. I'm also a businesswoman. And I take my career very, very seriously. And I've just been very, very blessed to have growth opportunities while I've been working with my current company. Uh, I consider myself to be very, very ambitious and, and driven and always wanting to do more and accomplish more <laughs> and achieve more. That's just something that is ingrained in me probably from my mother. It's all been working out very, very well for me and I just feel extremely blessed. But with that being said, I feel like being the type of person that I am where I'm always trying to take on so much and accomplish more and, and do more and putting all of these things on my plate, I think that that is a really big reason why over the years I've had this channel, but you'll notice that in some years I've made like four videos. <laughs> and it's just because I've always been so busy, you know? But I have to say that Doing YouTube and making videos is something that I genuinely love to do. I really, really love doing it. And so I've always been so busy and doing so much that I haven't been able to record as much as I would like to. But in 2020, I wanna make sure that I am making the time for the things that I love to do and the things that I enjoy doing. And this is definitely one of those things. Yes, you're busy, everyone's busy, <laughs> um, but you make time for the things that you want to make time for, you know? So I've made this conscious decision going into 2020 that I'm going to make time for this channel and to put forth as much effort as I can into growing and developing this channel and connecting um, with all of you, with my audience, <laughs> with my Tebe's, all of you guys and all you soon to be Tebe's hopefully. I'm just really excited about where we're gonna go with this guys. And <sighs> I think there's so much to come this year and for all of the years after this as well. So really excited about it. So with that being said, you know, once I decided that I was going to be putting forth a lot of effort into um, growing this channel, I, I had to go back and take a look at my channel. When making those videos so sporadically over the years, there's a lot of things, a lot of maintenance that I wasn't doing on my channel as well. Like my channel art, I had had that since like 2014 or something like that. And it's just like those little things, like all the other details I wasn't paying any attention to. And when I went back and looked at all that stuff I was like oh no we gotta do this oh we gotta <laughs> we gotta start all over I've been just I've just been kind of trying to clean up shop um so you may notice that I have new um I'll have a new end screen that I designed I also have new channel art as well but it's still me it's still Taya I'm just trying to clean everything up a little bit you know I will be uploading a lot more frequently and trying to bring you guys more and more content. So what I'm hoping is that you guys will be engaging me and, and just kind of letting me know what it is that you want to see as well because that really makes it a lot easier for us to continue to bring you good content if you're letting us know what it is that you want to see. So you guys, I'm really, really excited for all the things that are in store um, for me and for this channel and also for all of you guys as well. I would love to hear more about what you guys do in your lives and if there are any points where you connect with me. If you went to Spelman, let me know. <laughs> if you are also military, please definitely let me know. Hey, Army Divas, let me know. Or hey, military divas in general. So if you are military, let me know down in the comment section which branch you are in. Anything that you guys want me to record in the future, please don't hesitate to let me know. I love interacting with you all and I'm really hoping that we're able to interact more in the future. I just really wanted to share with you guys a little bit about myself and, and the direction that I see this channel going. And I'm just really hoping that you guys will come along with me on this journey. So if you are already subscribed to my channel, please definitely stick around. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and turn on the notifications and, and kind of come along <laughs> uh, on this journey. So. Okay guys, that's all for this video. Remember to stay prepped, pretty, and poised, and I'll catch you in my next video.